Hi, uh, today I want to show you a really unique recipe. Uh, this one's called Crazy Cupcakes. It's going to make about six vanilla style cupcakes, but here's the crazy part. Unlike most cakes and cupcake recipes, this recipe, you do not have to add eggs, butter, or milk to it. So I'm going to show you how it's done. It's super simple and uh, it kind of is a throwback to the Depression era of the early 20th century. Um, people were rationing and, and goods were scarce, so they kind of used their creativity and came up with some great recipes, and this is one. So here we go, crazy cupcakes. So the first thing you're gonna do is add to a bowl uh, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, one half a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix that all together with a whisk just till it's combined and you make sure you get any lumps out, particularly out of the baking soda. There's nothing worse than biting down into one of those little soapy bits. All right, I've got it all together. Um, here's the interesting part that I have to do next. I'm gonna make three, well, ironically, depressions into the dry ingredients here. So one is going to be for the vanilla, one for the white uh, vinegar and then the other one which is a little bit larger is going to be for the cooking oil so i have my three depressions in there again i'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla to one a half a teaspoon of white vinegar to another and then finally two and one half tablespoons of regular cooking oil i used vegetable oil but canola oil peanut oil whatever you have on hand will work Now the reason why we do this, we sort of keep them divided for a little time, is because it is the baking soda that is going to be our leavening agent, which is what's gonna help the cupcakes to rise. And once it hits the baking soda that's in the dry, it begins to activate. You need to be in kind of a hurry with it. Um, so leaving the depressions allows you to be able to take the time you need where it's not mixing together immediately. Finally, I have to add some liquid to it. I'm gonna add a half a cup of just room temperature water. It's just regular cold tap water. All right, pour it around and over the top and mix it all together. Super simple. All right, don't over mix it and be sure to move right along. Don't let it sit. Go ahead and scoop it into the baking pan. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the cupcake pan. I've sprayed the pan with pan release and put six liners in it. it. Makes about half a dozen. But I also wanted to show you how you could customize these if you want to. Particularly right now, um, a lot more people are baking at home and we're having a lot of birthdays and parties, so it's nice to be able to make a great variety for your family and friends. So I just grabbed a few things that I had around the house. Um, I had some Oreos, which I roughly chopped up. I have just some regular uh, sprinkles, we call those jimmies back in Jersey where I come from, and I have some raspberry uh, jam. So I'm gonna make three different styles. So I'm gonna scoop about halfway or maybe a quarter into each one because I'm gonna put my fillings in. So don't fill them up. Eventually you'll fill the, these up almost to about three quarters of the way, but to get them started, I'm just gonna put a little bit, about two tablespoons in the bottom of each. This way I can add my different uh, fillings. So to two of them, I'm gonna add some Oreos. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of sprinkles to two of them to make those Funfetti style. You don't have to um, get regular boxed cake mix to do Funfetti. You really have the stuff at, on hand in your own home in most cases. I just wanna stir that in a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more to each of those. Add a little bit more sprinkles. I always say, don't be stingy. Alrighty, um, and I'm gonna add a dollop of raspberry jam to the center of each of these. Don't overdo it in this case. Less is more here, because if you add too much, it just sinks to the bottom anyway. So top over top of the raspberry. 
and I'm gonna put a little bit more on each of the cookies and cream. And then I'm gonna pop off just a little bit more with a little bit more cookies. Cause again, we're not gonna be stingy. All right, looks like I've got a little bit left in my bowl here. I wanna get it all out. I'm not gonna waste a drop. here and again you can just make these just straight vanilla if you like um, but I wanted to just do a nice variety for you all so you can see some different creative ideas of how you can just have a fun time with it so again I've got cookies and cream funfetti and I've got raspberry filled and you could also do a chocolate cupcake out of this you would simply add to the same recipe that I told you three tablespoons of sifted unsweetened cocoa powder and instead of putting water I would recommend putting a lukewarm brewed coffee that's unsweetened to darken and richen the flavor up as well of course you can customize those any way you like I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven um, they're gonna bake out for about 12 minutes at 350 de degrees all right um, I'm, my cupcakes are ready to come out. I put them in originally for about 12 minutes, but I think because I've added some different flavorings and fillings to them, it took a little bit longer. They were in actually about 18 minutes total. Now keep in mind, you're not gonna get a very dark color on these. Um, and the reason of course for that is there's no butter, there's no eggs, there's no milk. I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool to room temperature and then I'm gonna show you how to decorate them. So while the cupcakes um, were, were cooling to room temperature, I went ahead and got together some frostings for them. So I'll show you what I did. Um, I just bought like regular prepackaged um, commercial frosting from the grocery store, um, but I saved a step and just kind of flavored them in advance of, of what we were doing here. One I left just plain and put a star tip in a Ziploc baggie so it'll be disposable to do for the funfetti style, the confetti style cupcake. Um, to some of the frosting I added a little bit of raspberry jam that made it a nice pink color and flavored it of course with raspberry. And then of course um, I took the vanilla and put in some crushed up Oreos to make the cookies and cream style. And then I have a few things for garnish here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top them. And pull them closer. All right, I will go ahead and start with the cookies and cream since it's the closest to me. And again, it's just in a Ziploc baggie that I've cut a little corner off. So when I'm done, I can just go ahead and discard it. So I'm just gonna pipe it on. And these aren't, remember, they're, they're lumpy as it comes out because it has lumps of full cookie in it. So don't be surprised that you're not going to have quite as smooth and it's gonna be a little more rustic finish to it. Right. And then to that, I'm gonna add an Oreo cookie to each. The next one is the, the party cake style with the, the confetti, the funfetti style. And to that one, I, again, I kind of did a little makeshift pastry bag here by cutting a hole in the end and putting a star tip in. And I'm gonna put on some frosting. Okay. And then I have a little bit of sprinkles here, just some that are just like uh, multicolored. So it's not for any specific gender. And then lastly, I have the raspberry ones, which have full jam inside. And I'm again going to squirt on some raspberry jam. I'm sorry, raspberry frosting with jam in it. And I have um, just some little raspberries here just to garnish it. Okay, very pretty. All right, and you can see I've just taken a cake plate and set them out nice. So we have quite a variety here. Again, this was um, from a depression era recipe that had no butter, no eggs, no dairy, came out of an inventive time when they were having to ration and foods were scarce and they became popular. So now if you're home and you're baking a lot, this is a great option for you uh, because of the variety you can get out of it. 
You can see here I've gotten raspberry, confetti, and Oreo uh, cookies and cream. The sky's the limit. You can change it up any way that you like. Um, and also remember that you can do it as a chocolate version by simply also adding three tablespoons of cocoa powder and swapping out the, the water in the recipe for uh, room temperature coffee to richen it up and then you can make any variety of those you like. All right, so here it is, Crazy Cupcakes. Enjoy.